Hello everyone, and welcome to some more horrific news. Okay, this popped up, and actually for once, I'm excited about a LEGO set, which I never thought would be possible, because LEGO has become the most expensive, pretentious thing on the planet, and it does all the mainstream up in star things and superhero nonsense and harry potter you, you know nothing exciting so for once we're going to see something actually related to horror which is cool so let's dive into it and have a look you're going to need a bigger boat for this new jaws lego set lego jaws set to release on august the 1st 2024 featuring 1497 pieces the set includes the orca boat the great white shark and three mini figures of the main characters jaws revolutionized the horror genre and remains a timeless classic when it comes to the horror genre, it's hard to find a nightmare as memorable as Jaws. In 1975, Steven Spielberg directed Classic is celebrating its 50th anniversary next year. Ahead of the bite-worthy festivities, the LEGO Group unveiled their latest LEGO set based on the film last year. Now the Jaws set has a sun-soaked late summer release date. The official 1,497-piece set will be released on August 1st, 2024. Designed by Johnny Campbell, the scene the set depicts is of the Orca, the main boat of the film, getting attacked by the massive great white shark and the iconic final act of Jaws. Fans will be making the boat itself, the title monster, and the watery diorama display base that connects the scene together. The set also comes with three minifigures. These would be Chief Martin Brody, Matt Hooper, and Quint. The set will swim to shore for $159.99 US dollars. This past week was a perfect time to release the date too, as the American 4th of July holiday is when Jaws takes place. The greedy mayor just couldn't close the beach in fear of losing all his tourists. Right, that's actually not a bad price. Well, it works out about 100 quid. 120 quid maybe? Oh god, I'm tempted. Right. <laughs> Gotta behave. Right. This is where reading articles of this is bad for me. Right. I'm, I'm gonna stay strong. <laughs> I'll start looking up websites after this. Guaranteed. Don't do it halfway through this article. What's Jaws about? Jaws takes the classic monster movie setup, which was established by the early Universal horror films, and applied it to a giant blockbuster. The film follows the residents of Amityville Island after a string of shark killings start washing ashore. Chief Brody wants to close the beach down for public safety, but as mentioned before, there's too much money to lose for the mayor to want to take such action. He wants to keep the beach open and have a normal, tourist-filled 4th of July weekend. However, that only makes the situation more dire, causing Brody to take matters into his own hands to stop this monstrous great white shark once and for all. Whether it's Spielberg's signature direction, the amazing acting, or John Williams' brilliant score, it haunts the horror genre to this day. Jaws remains the ultimate genre of blockbuster. It literally coined the summer word two years before moviegoers would travel to it galaxy far far away for the first time and a decade and a half before batman would commercially capitalize on that kind of film jaws would span three sequels from 1978 to 1987 but alongside an endless sea of merchandise nothing could ever stop the terrifying magic of that sharp masterpiece it was the film that made people scared of going in the water and was one of the first horror stories of its kind that reminded us that the genre isn't restricted to scaring us in the dark sometimes the most horrifying things happen in broad daylight jaws is currently available to stream on peacock it can also be rented on all major VOD platforms. Before you watch the perfect summer blockbuster movie, you can read Collider's review of Jaws here. The Lego set can be previewed above. Uh, did I miss it? There we go. Apologies for that. Had a wee bit of a mishap. Let's, let's let me take it up full screen. It will. Cool. Right, let's have a closer look. I'm liking this. I'm not normally a massive fan of Lego. I, I collected it as a kid, but like I said, it's become so overpriced and pretentious that it's kind of put me off it. That looks good. Is that all there is? Right, just those. Right, um, yeah, and the fact it's set up in a diorama, and not just so it can actually put it somewhere, that could be a plan for the future. What do you think, folks? If I got this, would you want to see a stream of me putting it together? This is something I've been toying with for a while, with some things, is getting the second camera set up, pointing downwards onto my hobby table, and maybe doing some stuff like this. I would be tempted to get back into miniatures again, and all that kind of stuff. Bloody prohibitively expensive, though, to get into things, but Lego hasn't really produced anything I would be remotely interested in until now, like right this minute as I'm reading this. It's a shame. I don't understand why they don't do more horror stuff or another company. I mean, you could do all the horror, the universal monsters, you name it. There could be tons of stuff you could build and have dioramas. Uh, I don't know, they're missing a trick there. But anyway, there you go. There is that. I might find myself doing a wee scrolly scroll on the Lego website to see if there's pre-orders or anything. But let me know what you think. Is this something you use or interested in? Do you just want me to do the stream? If I do, pick it up. Would you just want to see me putting it together? Or is this just something overpriced and cashing in on nostalgia? Anyway, let me know what you think. And until next time, keep up with the channel. Do the type of things. And remember to keep it creepy. Keep it horrific.